IPO Focus, hottest topics in the IPO world. Brought to you by IPO Calendar. EdTech unicorn Udemy has announced terms for its IPO. It is expected to go public on October 29, 2021. The San Francisco, California-based company plans to raise $406 million by offering 14.5 million shares at a price range of $27 to $29. New investor Caledonia Investments intends to purchase 7 to 5 million worth of shares in the offering 18% of the deal. At the midpoint of the proposed range, Udemy would command a fully diluted market value of 4.3 billion USD. Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, Citigroup, Bank of America Securities, Jefferies, and True Securities are joint book runners on the deal. As an online education marketplace offering user-generated courses, Udemy operates a two-sided marketplace where its instructors develop contents to meet learner demand. Courses can be accessed through its direct-to-consumer or Udemy business offerings and address learning objectives such as reskilling or upskilling in technology and business, enhancing soft skills and personal development. The company's platform provides over 4 to 4 million learners with access to over 183,000 courses in 7 to 5 languages and over 180 countries. Since inception, more than 73 million users have registered with Udemy. Market size the global e-learning market size is projected to grow to 370 billion USD by 2026, from 226 billion in 2020, at a compound annual growth rate of 8.56% during year 2021 to 2026. Based on data from Arison, market opportunity for Udemy is estimated to be $223 billion, including global corporate opportunity of $71 billion and the global consumer opportunity of $152 billion in 2021. Market problem solved. Traditional learning solutions rely on the so-called publisher model, which involves a lengthy, centralized, and expensive top-down development process by multiple levels of editors and reviewers. This approach is expensive, slow, and lacks scalability. According to the World Economic Forum, companies surveyed estimate that around 40% of workers will require short-cycle reskilling and 94% of business leaders report that they expect employees to pick up new skills on the job. Udemy offers the solution of an e-learning platform that allows individual learners and organizations all over the world to access affordable, relevant, and up-to-date content from experts and experienced practitioners in nearly every field. Products Udemy provides online courses including but not limited to programming languages, business, accounting, design, lifestyle, photography, etc. The platform offers four plans including Udemy Consumer, Udemy Consumer Subscription, Team Plan, Enterprise Plan, that are targeting different user groups and needs. Business model. All of the company's consumer revenue comes from individual courses that consumer learners sign up for on its online platform. Once learners register for the course, the company strives to provide an effective learning experience through assessments, labs, Q&A, and interactive exercises. Its enterprise division focuses on helping corporate and government customers upgrade their skills and train their employees and public servants through its Udemy business or UB offering. Its UB product revenue comes from selling subscriptions to UB customers through the direct sales team. These services provide on-demand access to the course catalog during the subscription period as well as additional features and capabilities such as single sign-on, analytics, and strategic learning path management capabilities. Competitors here are top competitors for Udemy. Coursera Inc. is an online education company that serves over 20 million registered learners by partnering with 140 of the world's best universities and education institutions. On Coursera, anyone, anywhere can access over 1,000 online courses and specializations in dozens of fields in order to achieve meaningful career, educational, and personal enrichment goals throughout their lives. Udacity develops an online learning platform offering programs in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and robotics sector, as well as data science, autonomous systems, and cloud computing. It offers nanodegree programs that industry employers need and deliver credentials endorsed by employers. The company aims to democratize education, making it affordable and accessible to get the jobs they desire to improve their lives. LinkedIn Learning, formerly known as Lynda.com, was founded in 1995. It was acquired by LinkedIn in 2015 for $1.5 billion. LinkedIn Learning is an American massive open online course provider. It provides video courses taught by industry experts in software, creative, and business skills. It is a subsidiary of LinkedIn. All the courses on LinkedIn Learning fall into three categories, business, creative, and technology. Unique strength, one, global expansion and international brand value. In 2020 and during the six months ended June 30th, 2021, 61% and 61% respectively of Udemy's revenue was generated outside North America. Two, Udemy offers premium quality that meets market relevance and speed, 
that gains first mover advantage. 3. Many competitors offer limited course catalogs specializing in a specific category. Udemy provides access to over 70,000 courses in languages other than English covering various disciplines. It also offers a broad set of personal enrichment courses in the wellness, music, and lifestyle categories, among others. 4. Udemy uses ML pricing algorithms to determine how much to charge for their courses on a per-country basis, making it affordable for international user leadership. CEO Greg Kakeri is the CEO of Udemy since February 2019. He holds an MBA degree from the University of Pennsylvania, the Wharton School. Previously, he served as CEO for Stella & Chewy's from 2015 to 2017 and president and CEO for a few companies. Financials, Udemy has experienced rapid growth. From 2019 to 2020, its revenue grew 55.6% to $429.9 million, which includes 103.5% growth in Udemy business, or UB revenue, although incurred net losses of $69.7 million and $77.6 million during 2019 and 2020, respectively. From the six months ended June 30, 2020 and 2021, Udemy revenue grew 24.5% to $250.6 million, which includes 78.7% growth in UB revenue, although incurred net losses of $52.5 million and $29.4 million, respectively. As of funding, Udemy has experienced 19 funding rounds, raising a total funding amount of $311.4 million. Their latest funding was raised on September 10, 2021 from a secondary market round. Lead investors include Tencent, Mindrock Capital, Bennis, Strikes Group, Insight Venture Partners, and more. The company is the latest in a string of online education firms looking to cash in on the demand for new listings in the U.S. after Coursera Inc., ticker C-O-U-R, and Nerdy Inc., ticker N-R-D-Y, went public earlier this year. The edtech industry is an emerging and dynamic market, which is a risk factor for the company. The results of operations for Udemy have historically varied from period to period, including some losses. The key to success for Udemy would be maintaining increasing a base of learners, instructors, and UB customers, successfully competing with existing and future competitors, and expanding their global presence. This video provides company info only and is not intended as investment advises. To keep track of this stock before and after IPO, get latest updates on upcoming IPO, quiet periods, new filings, and more stock info and analysis. Download the IPO calendar app, click the link in the description.